I was probably about 13 years old. And it was this guy that I knew. He was an older guy. And he had a, he had this lay on. You know, he was dressed a certain yeah. way. And he had a pair of Gucci sneakers on. They were brown. They had the canvas. And they had the brown leather with two straps across. He was wearing a pair of like dark, dark blue jeans. And he had a mock neck sweater on. Right. Yeah, I think he had the sh- he had the sweater tucked into the jeans, nice belt on, and at the time people would wear chains, so he you know he had like a gold medallion on, and I was like, wow, that's fly, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I just thought he was killing them, like yeah. you know what I mean? And and I remember this vividly. I was like, mom, I want some uh, some Gucci sneakers. She asked me what I want for Christmas. And I was like, the only thing I want is these Gucci sneakers. And they was about three fifty, four hundred dollars And I told her they were 200 You know what I mean? Because, I, you know, you, yeah. you tell your mom you want some $400 sneakers. It's like, what? You want $400 sneakers and you're how old? You know what I mean? And um, so she was like, she was like, I'll think about it. And then she didn't want to, she didn't want to get it. She was like, no, Eric, you're, you're too young. Like, you know. Yeah. So me being who I am, you know. I didn't get the Gucci's, but I took my my couple ducats, you know that I that I hustled up myself in my own way. And my mom gave me about a hundred bucks for. She thought I was gonna get some Timberland boots or something like that. And I went to Nima Marcus, and I was looking for those Gucci sneakers. They didn't have the Gucci sneakers, so I um I was like, right, I'm gonna get some Prada sneakers. So they didn't even have those. So I went to another spot and I got these Prada sneakers, and. I think that's where my journey began. Like, it was like high in fashion at a very young age. Yeah. You know what I mean? And from that point on, I was kind of addicted, so to speak. You know, every every two weeks or every time I would get up two, three hundred bucks, I would go get a new pair of Prada sneakers. You know what I mean? And that's when, like, Versace and Moschino, Iceberg, Kooji, all of that. You know, I was I was buying all of that stuff. Real young, teenager, but I was, you know, like I was doing things I wasn't supposed to do. So yeah. I had a little income in that in that way, you know, to to be able to do that. But that's kind of where it sparked for me. And then throughout the years, I I got to a point where I didn't care about that anymore. And that's that I, I believe that was around my spiritual awakening because I was shedding my skin. So the the material things that I thought were important, I was completely disregarding them. You know what I mean? And I was growing. I was like, for some reason, I remember these OGQ magazines that my dad supposedly had. But maybe I was just imagining this. I don't know. But I asked my mom. I was like, Mom, uh, isn't these GQ magazines around? So the GQs, my hunt for the GQ magazines really sparked my interest. And I was just looking for something that was a bit more individual. So I started to go to the libraries and look at the microfilms. And the microfilms were really cool because, you know, you can go into the library and see every magazine. You know, you can go through every GQ back from the first issue through the microfilm, you know. And I would sit there and I would study. I would go through the microfilm and look at all the GQs from the different areas, 50s, 60s, 70s. And I believe that just sharpened my eye and started to develop my style a bit more. And then I started to get into, you know, the runway shows and the different collections and different designers and just educating myself. And then that journey began to birth a design aspiration. You know what I mean? So that's that was kind of the beginning of the journey for me.